external signs of a sick gut, eczema, dermatitis, sunburn easily, dry skin, cracked heels, fungus infections. Can anyone relate to any of those? Lichen planus, rosacea, lupus, acne, psoriasis, tinea versicolor. There's all kinds of skin infections that people are having. And we're going to consider the gut and the skin the same organ. So if you have something externally on your body that doesn't look right, chances are it's connected to something in your gut. I'm going to drive this home a little bit here. Have a little stage prop. Let's see why this works really good, actually. I'm sure you're all familiar with this material. It's a wonderful material. <laughs> okay, bear with me. Bear with me. You know, it's amazing. Everyone's awake all of a sudden. Okay. Okay, this will work. <laughs> you know, guys, please don't distract me. I only have one, and I don't want to have to go to the audience for a second. Okay. <laughs> this represents your body. This represents your skin. And your skin, if I push it together and meet it in the middle, you see where my fingers are through that? Okay. Inside this balloon, I'll call it a balloon, is air. All right, man, my fingers now. Are my fingers inside or outside of this balloon? They're outside of it, right? See, the skin is made up of this, uh, this epithelial tissue, and so is the gut. Epithelial tissue is a tissue that's really designed to absorb and excrete. They're two-way uh, tissues. The medical profession has caught on to this. In fact, they'll actually put patches on your skin to insert drugs into your body, right? You know that. And at the same way, when you sweat, you detox through your skin, right? Your gut, when you eat food, it actually goes into this tube and it's outside of your body. It has to pass through that tube to enter into your bloodstream. And at the same time, your body is filling up your intestines with all the waste product. So really, in this picture, you can see that the gut and the skin are really continuous. We'll think of them as one organ. It's the same organ. That's why I tell people, if you have a skin condition, you probably have a gut problem. So if you have a skin condition, how much can you be, how, how much can you actually fix it by treating it externally? People are rubbing all kinds of creams and these things are good. Oh, there we go. Okay, now you know what it takes to get rid of one of those. Okay, sorry about the mess. <laughs> um, you know, you can rub creams on all kinds of skin conditions for the rest of your life and you're not going to heal the problem if you don't treat it from the inside out. How about these? These are very common symptoms associated with leaky gut. Allergies. Does anyone have allergies? Especially food allergies. Imagine again it passing through your um, intestines into your bloodstream, not processed properly, and your body says, got to get rid of that. Let's attack it. Chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, irritability, chronic pain, weight loss, um, poor bowel function, that's a given. Autoimmune disorders. I think a lot of the autoimmune disorders are that immune system attacking your body because of the leaky gut. Oh.